the successor to the X35 crossover, one of Hyundai's most important cars. However, the Korean company is pitching it more upmarket, which explains the adoption of the more evocative two-song name, the Santa Fe-like design and the increased dimensions. There's a wide range of petrol and diesel engine options, two- or four-wheel drive, manual and automatic gearboxes and five generously equipped trim levels to choose from. It looks more like an SUV than a crossover too, which should appeal to the target customer based on it's not the sort of car to take for a blast in the countryside for the sake of it. But if you're in a hurry the Tucson is up to the challenge, with great body control under braking and little unwanted lean in the corners. It's also commendably comfortable, even on larger alloy wheels. Refinement is the name of the game here and the Tucson really is a smooth and quiet operator.